After guards, security systems will be your prime area of concern, as they will trigger alarms that bring about heightened security. Trying to destroy these devices is a bad idea. Try instead to get around them. By timing your moves properly, you should be able to do so relatively easily. If an alarm does sound, guards will start looking for you. Fortunately, they won't sustain this level of alertness for long. Eventually, they will believe you fled the area and the alarm level will drop.
down there. Hearing things, seeing things. Man, I gotta lay off the hard stuff. Tonight, this is Eliza Kassan reporting to you live. the bomb! No. The bomb! Get us out of here! Do something! Hurry! Save us! Where's the bomb squad? Hurry! Get us out of here! Save us! Get us out of here! Access granted. Automated dispersal device. Activated. Countdown terminated. Have a nice day. Pritchard, get word to Seraph. I found the hostages. I'm relaying good news, I hope. They're safe. And they're staying put. SWAT will have to expel them as soon as I've got the prototype. I'll tell Seraph, but don't take too long. Put it away, man. Hey, 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 just put it away! Careful. You're gonna hurt someone! Listen up. I need you all to stay calm, keep your voices down, and wait here for SWAT. The plan's not clear yet. Not clear? But those terrorists, they've got my wife! Your wife? She's the manager here. Josie, Josie Thorpe. They said they needed her to open the administration building. They were looking for evidence of some kind. Please, I haven't seen her since. You have to find her. 
I'll do my best. But right now, I need you all to stay here and wait for the police. Can you do that? Yes, of course. But please, hurry. You said they were looking for evidence? What kind of evidence? I... I don't know. They're purists. They think the body is sacred and shouldn't be tampered with. They probably want something that will implicate us in moral wrongdoings. Did they know about the typhoon? It's a top secret contract. How could they? And we only moved it in a few hours ago. Please, I don't think they expected anyone would be working today. And now that they're backed into a corner, you have to find my wife, please. I think she may be in the administration offices. They needed Josie to unlock them. Fuckers are lying to us, I guess. Just like Zeke said. I hope Zeke knows what he's doing. Me too, man. Me too. Stay out there, asshole! What's the matter? 
In order to unlock new abilities or augmentations, you must first gain experience in the form of XP points. You will receive these points when completing main objectives, side quests, or through special bonuses, like completing a mission without being detected. Once you've accumulated enough XP points, you will receive a Praxis point. These points are used to unlock upgrades to existing augmentations, and to unlock entirely new augmentations. Praxis kits, which can be found through exploration or purchased in limb clinics, will also give you instant Praxis points. To unlock an augmentation or upgrade, simply select it in the augmentation screen, check the cost, and, if you have enough Praxis points, activate it. away from the console. Now! would I be? Patch me to Seraph, now. Adam, it's David. You got the Typhoon? Yeah, but you were right about there being something more behind this. Because I've also got a dead purist in here with some pretty interesting cerebral implants. Don't touch him. We'll need an expert to recover his neural hub in case it's booby-trapped. Copy that. What about Sanders? SWAT's pressure me to let them off the leash. Find them before they do, and deal with them. Secret said, if that's what you mean. But but he was positive we'd find something, something we could show to Pikes. Are you saying we got? <laughs> Shh. 
shit up. I'm gonna get you, asshole! <laughs>
tell me that a militant group of pro-human activists have raided a Seraph Industries plant. Factory workers have been taken hostage and the entire city firm has been attacked. The first time convincing people you're any different once they hear you had an AUG on your team. What? I found your attack dog in the factory labs, trying to cut through security with his implanted hackware. Nice try, Tolo. But I would never let one of you freaks on my crew. Ah! Back off, man! I've got business to take care of, understand? If what you say is true, and I'm not saying it is, we hear me. But I gotta... I gotta take things up. So me and la vieja, we're leaving. You know I can't let you go with her. Stand down, Hanser. I told you, stand down or this bitch is dead. Bullshit. You're bigger than that. You don't kill civilians. Damn right. I'm a decorated vet. And I won't be jerked around. I need to find out who's behind this. And right now the boss lady is my only ticket out of here. Listen to me. Whatever's going on, it's big. You've got a better chance of getting to the bottom of it if you work with me. But I can't do a thing until you let her go. Are you stupid? I don't work with dogs. God, you must think I'm some kind of moron. And who can blame you? Because it's exactly what I must look like to everyone right now. Trapped in here by the cops, and my only option is to take a hostage. How screwed up is that? You're doing better than you think. You're still standing, and that's more than the hacker was expecting. You said you're a vet, so I know you've got the balls to handle this. You don't need the civilian to get you out of here. <laughs> you got a good point there, but still. There's no way I could put my trust in you. You're on the same side as the cops. They got me completely surrounded and there's nothing I can do. I'm all alone in here. will be looking after civilians. They're too busy to worry about you. But if something happens to her, you will get their attention. Their priorities will shift, and all you'll accomplish is getting yourself killed. That sounds reasonable. But I don't know. One of your kind tricked my brother into manipulating me, and I have to make sure that they get what all kind openers deserve. I'm not wasting any more of my time arguing with you. Out of my way, you freak! You've got more honor than the man who betrayed you. You're not gonna let your brother down like this. The hacker was expecting civilians to be in the building tonight. 
You were supposed to take hostages and force the cops to silence you permanently. But you're smarter than he is. Uh, it's so obvious. Can't believe I didn't see it till now. He thinks he can just leave me to my death? Think again, cabrón. Get out of here. I did what you wanted. So let me go. I got played here too, I see. I've got as much interest in finding out who's really behind this as you do, Cameron. Yeah, well, maybe I'll owe you one. But I promise you this, someone's gonna pay. I'll look over there. Adam! Still's going. Adam, what's happening? What's your situation? Adam! Sanders is gone, boss. But I'm pretty sure he's just a dupe. Somebody else set this up. Damn it. Okay, I want you back here now. The admin building has a rooftop terrace. Meet Farida on it. Copy. Jensen out. Put it away, sir. I'm fine. Just a little shaken up, but what about the other hostages? My husband was with them in one of the assembly labs, and I overheard talk about a bomb. Don't worry, they're safe. Oh, thank God. When those men surprised us, Mr. Jensen, they should not have been able to get in. With the typhoon being moved in and all, I double-checked the protocols myself. Yeah. I expect Pritchard's doing the same thing right now. Stay here. DPD will want to question you. But you and your husband should be reunited soon. Thank you, Mr. Jensen. You're a hero. Way to secure the terrorist leader, Jensen. Now the bastard's free to spread his lies and cause more trouble. Jensen? You're the guy who was sent in before us? Those hostages owe you a lot. Way to secure the terrorist leader, Jensen. I can't believe now they made us wait out here while the leader of these assholes got away. Who knows what he'll do now? Nice job securing the plant. You say I would have thought a security guard What the hell happened? Give it everything you got! Sorry, Mr. Thorpe, but the target is on lockdown. I can't let anyone in. My wife, is she all right? She's fine. A little shaken up, though. Swap so will need to debrief her. But you'll see her soon. I don't know what to say. I I think I've given up on her. You're a true hero, man. I'll find some way to repay this, I swear. There's no need for that. I was just doing my job. Don't be modest. I, I didn't recognize you before, but I know who you are, Mr. Jensen. And I know you weren't supposed to be back at work yet. Thank 
God you are. I'll be in touch. Count on it. I gotta admit, Jensen, I'm glad you. You made a lot of people happy tonight, Jensen. And not just the men in suits. It's what they pay me for. No. They pay you to put corporate interests ahead of people. You found a way to satisfy everyone. Guess Dr. Reed was telling the truth about you. Megan, what are you talking about, Malik? Before you were hired, she said the papers were lying about Mexican town. That you weren't fired from the force. You quit when you realized protect and serve had become protect and serve the corporate interest. Nice to see she was right. You ready to go? Yeah, get me out of here, Malik. Your wish is my command. Climb in. New order's just in, Jensen. The boss wants Pritchard to examine the Typhoon ASAP. Copy that. Thanks for the lift. No problem. Hey, and, uh, Jensen. I just wanted to say, new look suits you. Like, you haven't missed a beat at all. Thanks. So, how's it feel? Being augmented. Excuse me? Don't take it the wrong way. I mean, I've got a few neuro enhancements myself. Discreet ones, to help me fly better. But I chose to get them implanted. You didn't. Now that you had a chance to try them out, what do you think? You're right. I didn't choose to get augmented. And I still don't know if I would have if given the choice. But today felt good. Surprisingly good. Dr. Reed said you'd take to them. Said it was in your genes. Just be careful, okay? A lot of people think there's a reason the human body rejects this technology over time. I didn't peg you for the type who gets caught up in metaphysical debates, Malik. I'm not. I told you myself, I've got neuro enhancements. I'm just saying the choices we do get to make inevitably have consequences. Yeah. Tell that to the bastard who did this to me. I hear you. And you know what? You're not the only person in this place who wants to find him. So if I can help in any way, all you gotta do is ask. Actually, there is something. I want to know about the first attack. Fine. Ask away. You were there that night. What do you remember about it? That it was chaos. First, everybody figured there'd been some kind of accident, but Pritchard couldn't get a good visual and communications were haywire. Then we heard the explosions. By the time anyone knew what had hit us... They were gone. Whoever they were, they were good, Jensen. Special training good. Did anyone else see them? The men who attacked? Not well enough to get a description. Pritchard got some fuzzy images off one of the IntelliCams, but his tapes were all confiscated by Homeland Security. Homeland? I heard Homicide passed it over to Special Investigations. Detroit Special Investigations. They did. For the first month. After that... All I really know is, the case is still pending. And Mr. Seraph is not pleased. I've been thinking about why they attacked. What they were really after. Isn't it obvious? They didn't want us going to Washington. No, that was just timing. Hearings can be rescheduled. Somebody else can present Megan's findings. I don't think so, Jensen. They took out her whole team. Declan Faraday, Vasily Sevchenko, Nia Colvin, even Eric Koss. The labs their bodies were found in. Were burned to a crisp. I know. 
The only reason you weren't caught in the fire was because that retaining wall came down. Saved your life, believe it or not. So the whole attack was just to destroy Megan's research? Sure looks that way. Mr. Seraph is hoping to reconstruct it, but it may take months. If he can keep us solvent that long. I'm gonna find a Malik. One way or another. I believe you. And just so you know, when you do, I've got your back. I appreciate that, Malik, but right now... You've got to get the Typhoon into the tech lab, right. See you later, then. Oh, and Jensen, the boss wants a face-to-face -face debrief in his office once it's secure. Roger that. Good night, Malik.